This video shows how to use a mask to apply effects to specific features in your video. I'm using Final Cut Pro 10.4, but the steps are the same regardless of which version of the software you use. The first step is to go to your timeline and use the cutting tool to establish the start and end points of the part of your video you want to apply the effect to. Next, copy the clip that you established with the start and end points and paste the copy in the timeline above the original one. Have the snapping tool turned on so that the two clips line up and start and stop at the same points. Disable the original clip. From your installed effects, select the Draw Mask effect and drag it onto the top clip in the timeline. Using the Draw Mask tool, draw an outline around the item you want to apply the effect to. It may help to temporarily adjust the screen zoom to more accurately place the control points. Close the mask by clicking on the first control point. You have now formed a closed perimeter around the feature you want to effect. I also find that it sometimes helps to turn invert mask on and off to help place control points when it's hard to see the outline. Set the playhead on the first frame and establish keyframes for position, rotation, scale, and control points. You may not need to adjust all of these parameters, but if you do, the keyframes will already be established. Often you will only need to adjust position and scale, but it all depends on the situation. Each time you adjust any parameter, a new keyframe is automatically established, so you only need to manually set keyframes on the first frame. Step backward early in the process, frame by frame, to make sure the mask properly tracks the feature. If it doesn't, move the playhead back to frame 1 and make sure keyframes are set for the parameters being adjusted. Step your way through the clip frame by frame and adjust the mask to accurately follow the outline of the object with each frame. You can see now when I enable the bottom clip, whatever's on that clip shines through the hole in the mask. So now for example if I click on the bottom clip to highlight it and adjust the exposure, you will see that only the part that shines through the mask is seen. And then just to show you when I temporarily disable the top clip, you can see that the whole bottom clip is actually affected by the change I made to exposure. Okay. 
I double click on the master exposure slider to return it to zero. Here I apply the static effect. This effect is a Pixel Film Studios plugin called ProStatic. Here's another place where I use Draw Mask and the static effect. In this case, I cut to a scene where I was not in the picture and then applied a cross dissolve transition to make it look like I faded out of the picture at the same time the static effect was happening. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.